I'm Trish with Crafting Cousins. Thank you so much for stopping by our channel. If you have been with us for any amount of time, you know that I love thrifting. It's probably an addiction for me. I just love going and finding old pieces that other people have thrown out that I can use in other ways. Maybe give it a coat of paint or redo it completely and make it something new for my home. I love being able to change out some of the little things in my home and that is such a reasonable way of doing it whenever you can find a piece at the thrift store. For the past few years, I have made myself only buy things that I knew I could flip into something else. I love seeing other treasures that are in there and I always want to buy them, but I have so many things in my home already. And with me making new items for a video every week, it adds up really fast and I end up having to donate a lot. So I had been bypassing all of those items that I just really loved or I thought someone else may appreciate as much as I do until I found out about Whatnot. I've recently joined Whatnot. I have several friends that are sellers over there. And if you haven't heard of it, Whatnot is a live auction app. You can download the app. You can join us when we have a show. You can bookmark our shows so that you will know when they go live. And we do 20-second auctions where you can buy those treasures that we have found in our searches, whether it's at thrift stores, yard sales, wherever we find it, there are some really cool stuff. Sometimes it's rusty crusty. It's things that you can turn into something else. Sometimes it's just collectibles and vintage items that people have discarded of, but they still are beautiful and we hope to find a new home for. Now I'm going to leave a link down below for the Whatnot app. It's also going to give you a coupon code so you can get 15% off if you are a new user and you can use that on your first purchases. So I'd love to have y'all come hang out with me. I have not had my first show yet. My first show is going to be I think it's November 11th. I am currently working my seasonal job full time. So I am going to kind of put it off until after that. But I'd like for you to come and just hang out with me. I get credit if you come hang out and will chat with me and just kind of give me that support and keep me going because I'm really nervous for my first show. So now let me show you some of the items that I have picked up lately. Some of them I'm actually going to be flipping in upcoming videos. I'm going to use them for some home decor. Some of them are antique and I'm going to be selling them on whatnot and then some of them I might be flipping and selling what I have done on whatnot so y'all just gonna have to join me over there and see what I do with some of these items of course you're going to see it in our videos but you'll be able to buy them if you really like them all right, the first thing I want to show you guys, this was something that I was so excited about when I found it. I know it's going to make a lot of noise. This is an antique bed warmer. It is huge, y'all, and I just absolutely love it. It's got a lot of patina on it. It's kind of beat up. I think it is an amazing piece, and I am going to be selling it over in my Whatnot show. The next item that I found was this little chicken on a nest. It is a glass one. I've seen lots of these in the regular size, but I've never seen these little ones like this. And I absolutely loved her and knew that I had to pick her up. I also found these precious salt and pepper shakers. It's Cinderella's carriage and a little castle. I think these are adorable and I can't wait to have them on my show. You guys know I love frames. I found this pretty gold colored frame that's oval. I'm probably going to use it in a project. I do have something in mind and it's perfect for just sitting into a little space to add to your decor or you could even use this one on a tear tray because it's not that big. I also found a pair of brass candle holders. I love these. They're in pretty good shape. They, they're tarnished, but I think that's what makes them special. I love the Rusty Krusty, and these are perfect. And speaking of candle holders, I have one more. This one is really heavy. It's got some weight on it, and I, you know, again, it's a little tarnished. You could clean it up if you like it to be perfect, but I love the tarnished look. And speaking of tarnished, I found this adorable trinket box. It's made out of wire and it's got some really pretty delicate details in the side. And then it has a little flower on the top. I thought this was so cute. 
Okay, I had to grab my glasses because some of these pieces are marked and I can't see what it is without my glasses. But I love teapots. I thought this one was really pretty. It doesn't have any chips or anything. And it is by Kaysons Fine China. You guys can look that up. This thing is actually worth quite a bit of money. But of course, I'm going to be starting it with a low start over on Whatnot. I also found this nutcracker at the thrift store. I think I paid like a 99 cent for him. Now, I'm not a nutcracker fan. Kay absolutely loves them, but I have an idea to use this in an upcoming project. I'm just gonna say you guys know that I love the Grinch, so keep that in mind, and I'm sure you can imagine what I'm gonna be doing with him. Now, I did find a lot of collectibles. I love collectibles. I wish I had more room for them. One of the ones I found is this adorable bear. He's like a one-man band. Um, he is a Boyd's bear, so he is a, a very nice collectible. He doesn't have any chips. I absolutely love him. Now, this is an adorable collectible from Barkley Crossan. It's called Dog Tired. I think he is so cute. It says, do not disturb. He's got his little bone in his pocket and he is just precious. He doesn't have any chips. He's in great condition as well. I love precious moments. I have my whole life. I think they are just absolutely adorable and I have found several lately. This one is, you can't take it with you. I think he is so pretty. These are in excellent condition. I don't, even though I have my glasses on, this is really little writing. I think this says you're the sweetest on the bottom. I think she is absolutely precious. She's got all of her little cookies on her tray and she is also in excellent condition. This one is I Believe in Miracles. I think it is so precious. He's holding a little duck. And again, it is in excellent condition. Now, this one does not say precious moments on it. It actually says Jonathan David. I'm not sure if that's a collaborator, but it looks like a precious moment and it's called Jesus Loves Me. I think it is so precious. Now, for my chicken lovers out there, I found this adorable chicken. Now, he is old, and he's got a little, a few little rub spots on him right there. They're not really chips. It's like his paint just rubbed off. Then I also found these adorable owls. Now, they have an opening at the top. I'm not sure what it really was. I think it could be really cute if you put some greenery in it or even just set it up the way it is. I also found this Uncle Sam. I thought he was absolutely adorable. He doesn't have any markings on him. He is in good condition. I just love him. Now, this egg is by Avon. And I have heard that Avon filed for bankruptcy. All their pieces are really highly collectible. But now that they filed for bankruptcy, I imagine that they're going to be even more so. Y'all, look up this egg. Just do a Google search. It is worth so much money, but I'm going to be selling it on Whatnot. The next piece I found is from House of Lloyd. It is an adorable little ornament. It's like a tea set. It is so cute. It looks like a little porcelain tea set, and it is in excellent condition. And speaking of Christmas, I also found this adorable mug. Y'all, how cute is that? This little piece of fabric pulls out the handle so you could change it out to different fabrics. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell this or if I'm actually going to use it in my decor. I may fix it up for Christmas. Y'all are just going to have to kind of stick around and see what I end up doing with it. This one is another Boyd's bear. I think she is so pretty. She's holding her own little teddy bear and she is in really good condition. This collectible is also a Boyd's bear collectible. It's called Yesterday's Child and she is in really pretty condition. It is a Christmas piece and I absolutely love it. Now, this is just a really fun piece. It isn't marked. It's probably not a collectible. It looks like his little nose got knocked off. I am going to use him in some kind of Christmas project. I will rebuild him a nose and we will put him to good use. I just couldn't stand for him to go to the landfill. I also found this adorable little basket. It's heart shaped. It's in really good condition. I may end up making a vignette out of this one. 
And speaking of vignettes, I found this little toolbox looking piece. This bear is so heavy and he actually is like a bottle opener. I thought this was so cute and so rustic and I can just see it with some different items in it. I have it in my head. So I'm definitely going to turn this into a vignette. And then for those vignettes, and really just for decorating your home, I found all kinds of doilies. Y'all, I absolutely love doilies. I have this long one that's in really good shape. I have these little ones. They are attached together, but you can, you know, use them in your vignette, just kind of drape it over. And if you're adventurous, you could release the threads on this and make this too. I have this really pretty doily. I love the lace work on it. I think it is so pretty. And this one. We also have this one. If you do junk journals, you can even clip these and take them apart and use them in your junk journals. I found this lacy one. And this one, I love this curled edge on this. I think it's so pretty. And this one. These are all vintage and they are all beautiful. They're in really good condition. Now, I love old bottles. I absolutely do. And I found these two at the thrift store. They're dirty. I mean, there's even dirt inside of them. I'm not sure if I'm going to clean them up. I kind of like the grungy look of them. I may stick some florals in them. I'm not real sure what I'm going to do with them yet. I also found this adorable tin. I'm not sure if it's really old or if it just looks old. It's got a picture of a little girl with a kitten. Um, it's all around all four sides and it's even on the front, that same picture of the little girl with the kitten. I hope my sister's not watching this. I didn't mean to show it, but this is a music box. It says, um, darling sister on it to my sister with love. When you open it up, it's got the little place inside where you can play the music. And then inside it says, I am thankful for you each and every day. All of my love. I plan on cleaning this up and giving it to my sister. It just really reminds me of her. I found all kinds of old bottles. I have them all over my table over here. I thought this one was really cool. It's green. This is a deer and a cross. I love this bottle. I'm not real sure what I'm going to do with it, but I absolutely love it. I mentioned that I love frames and I thought this one was gorgeous. It, these parts will loosen up and you can actually adjust this one um, if you want it to be tilted or not. I think I'm going to use it for a project. I have an idea for something I want to do with it. I think it's going to be gorgeous. And this is another frame that I found. It is wood and it is two-sided. It turns in the middle. I love this one too. I'm again thinking that I might use it in a project. This is a huge candle holder. I, I like the shape of it. I'm just not really feeling the paint on it. It kind of looks cheap. So I'm thinking I am going to upcycle this. Now, if you guys seen our Christmas video so far this year, you know that I am really into angels. I found these two wire angels. I love them. I'm probably going to add some greenery to them, maybe dress them up a little for the holidays. I think they're going to fit perfectly into my Christmas decor. Now, this I found at one of our local thrift stores. We have one um, called Doggone Good Thrifts, and it is... Um, ran by the Humane Society. I absolutely go love going in there. You never know what you're going to find. Because it's local, they're not greedy. And this was such a cool thing to me. This bucket has these beautiful pieces in it, these wood pieces. Finials, I guess, are what they are. There are two like that that are really big. And then there's two small ones. I love how these look, too. I think that these would probably make really good ornaments. So I have some plans to work on these for some Christmas projects. At that same store, they had this little bucket. Now, it's not in that great a shape, but it has some really cool wood pieces in it, too. There's all kinds of little pieces in here. There's handles. There's, like, this little wheel. 
There's um, some finial pieces in here. There's some really cute pieces that I think that I can use in all kinds of projects. Y'all, these are the kind of things that you really want to look for when you're at the thrift store because most people look at this and they think it's just a bunch of junk and they pass it by. But if you're a crafter, these pieces can be used in so many different ways. And I only paid $2 for this whole can of wood pieces. Now this is an old ashtray. It is a vintage ashtray. I don't smoke, but I thought it was really cool looking. It could be um, cleaned up and used in your decor. You know, with these little slots in it, if you're a painter, you could even use it to hold your paint brushes. I think this is really cute. I also found this little glass piece. It's a um, segmented tray. I, I don't I guess it's a leaf or something. It's almost like an opalescent glass. I think this is so pretty. Now, again, you guys know I love Rusty Krusty. The older and crustier it is, the more I love it. I found this adorable bird cage. It's got a little bird on the top of it. It's got the little hook on the side. It could be used. You could put some greenery and a candle in it for Christmas. Maybe do some Christmas greenery up here with some berries. Or you can, you know, change it out for spring. You can do both, y'all. That's the beauty of these pieces is that they can be changed out for all of the seasons. I also found this little bird cage. It's got a bird on top of it too. And it's got the chicken wire around it. And it's got this really pretty base. I thought this was cool as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to take it apart and use the base for something different. Or if I'm just going to decorate it for the different seasons. Now these were some of my favorite finds. These are some old like little bunt tins. They are... um. They're not rusty, but they are very dull, and I do have an idea for how I want to use these. I'm going to be using them in some Christmas projects. So when you see things like this, these little tins, no, you don't want to bake with them, but y'all, you can do some really cool Christmas projects with them. And speaking of Rusty Krusty, I also found this old jar. It's an old Jif peanut butter jar, and it is full of vintage drawer pulls. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to take these apart. I really like how they look. I think they could be really cool in a vignette, just the way they look with the rusty pieces inside. As I mentioned, I love little collectibles, and these little minis were so cute. It says, I believe in you on the back. They are by Russ. This one is the Love Bear, the Believe Frog. How cute is he, y'all? I just love him. The Friendship Dog, the Strength Lion, and the Comfort Bear. I think these would be so cute sitting out or they would make really great gifts, especially if you know someone who's going through something, you know, a hard time giving them this little strength line. Y'all, I just love these. I, I'm, I'm a sucker. I love them all. We have a few more collectibles. This one is from Calico Kittens. I think they are so adorable, these little friend cats. This one has a marking on the bottom. It's called I'm Fur You, F-U-R. It doesn't say that it's a calico kitten, so but it does have like the little calico patch on the bottom. So it may still be, I would have to look this one up. This one is from Cherished Teddies. It's called You're As Sweet As A Rose. I think it is so cute. Y'all, all these little collectibles are in great condition. I also found some yarn. This is a peaches and cream yarn. I had a project that I was wanting to do. And y'all, this is the best way to buy yarn. It's so cheap. You can't get yarn for 50 cent at the regular store. And I find it all the time at the thrift store. This hadn't even been opened. I also found this, um, this kind of yarn. This is more like a string. I guess it's for crochet, like with those dollies that I saw. But these are really popular this year. You can pop, um, bottle brush trees into them. You can put greenery in them and use them in vignettes. There's so many ways to use these other than for crochet. Now, I love this piece. It's like an old wash tin. It is a little rusty crusty, and I think that it would make a gorgeous vignette. Just think about if you threw one of your dollies over this and then put in maybe some greenery. Um, oh, I know. I also have these um, bobbins. You can put the bobbins in there with some greenery, maybe a book. I think this could be a gorgeous vignette to sit in your home. 
This is a keepsake um, tree topper from Hallmark. Y'all, again, look this up. This thing has some value to it. I was shocked when I looked it up. It's in great condition. It is a brass star. I think it's so pretty. And again, I'm going to have it over on whatnot. I also found this pineapple trivet. This is from 1980. And y'all, this is a really cool piece. It's, it's very well made. It's not going to bend on you. I really like this piece. I can't possibly show you everything that i found lately. There is just too much of it. We would be here all night. You're going to have to join me over on our WhatNot show and see what I put up for sale over the next few shows. There will be several of them with these items in it. And make sure that you tune in for upcoming videos because a lot of this stuff I'm going to flip and I'm going to show you how you can use it for decor. The last thing I want to show you are some vintage books. I love old books. I know a lot of you do too. You can decorate it with them in your home, tie them up with some old ribbon, and they make a beautiful vignette. Now, this one is a shorthand book. I'm a little bit partial to this because I actually took shorthand in college this one it has lots of writing in it looks like several different people had this um and used it to learn shorthand the copyright on this is 1893 now it was reprinted and the last one on it was 1936 but still y'all look how old this book is i just love the pages on here this would be so beautiful tied up in a stack now, I did find a lot of Reader's Digest. I love the Reader's Digest condensed versions. These are in really good shape. This one is green and blue. I think it is so pretty. This is another Reader's Digest condensed version. Look how beautiful this is. You can feel the texture in this cover. Then I have this old vintage book. Now, it has been loved. The cover has separated in a couple of places. It does have some blank sheets in it. It's called An Old Sweetheart of Mine. And the copyright in it is 1888. Then it was also 1899 and 1902. Those were the original printings. This one was actually printed in 1902. This is over 100 years old, y'all. How cool is this book this one is from the popular science library i let me see the copyright in this one is 1939 or excuse me 1933 it's 1933 i think this is such a cool book it's so old and y'all it's in really good condition to be from 1933 have another vintage book Y'all, I am loving these. Can you see a bunch of these tied together and stacked on a shelf? I think they would be gorgeous. This one, the copyright is 1893. It has another one of 1901, which was a reprint. And then the last copyright is from 1916. So this little book is over 100 years old as well. These are the kind of books I love. Now, you know, you can do what you want to with them. I think as long as they don't end up up in the landfill that anything you do with them is fine they're your books and you're saving them from the landfill but personally i love to display them especially these old ones um like these there's four of these it's like a little series how cute are these to tie together and maybe put some greenery or some christmas florals in it whatever season it is and just display them on a bookshelf i think these are gorgeous now these um like i said it's a series i've got four six three and five so three four five and six it's the world's 100 best short stories um, the, let's see, the copyright is 1927. So these four books are almost 100 years old as well. Now this, y'all, I love hymnals. And again, you can do what you want to with it. You can display it. 
I love using old hymnals in crafts. I know some people don't like that, but again, we are saving these from the landfill, so why not use them in crafts instead of letting them get thrown away? That gives them new life, and I think they're gorgeous. But this one is in really good shape. The copyright from it is 1989, so it's a little older. It's not, you know, completely um, vintage like the 100-year-old books. It has some gorgeous pages in it. I love how this looks. So you could display it, you could do folding on it, or you could take it apart and use it in crafts. So I have another vintage book. This one is called The Two Hague Conferences, and the copyright inside of it is 1908. So this one is well over 100 years old, and it is in really good condition. It has those beautiful aged pages. I just love these old books, y'all. And the last one that I have is another Reader's Digest condensed um, edition. I love the blues. It's navy and this teal looking blue. It is so pretty and it is in really good condition as well. So that's all that I've got to show you guys. I might use some of these in projects. Um, I might end up using some of the books in my bookshelf. I absolutely love changing them out and having the old ones. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to flip it or if I'm going to use some of it in my own decor. But again, I would love to have you guys come over to Whatnot and hang out with me. I'm going to put a link down below um, where you can sign up for Whatnot. And when you do, it's going to give you a $15 coupon that you can use in your first purchases. And I would love to, you know, have you come over if you don't buy from me that's completely fine I don't I mean you know it's not going to upset me I would love to have you just come hang out and chat with me keep me company and keep me from being a nervous wreck during my show thank you again so much Kay and I appreciate you make sure that you tune in Saturday for a new craft video it's going to be Christmas and we can't wait to share with y'all have a great week bye y'all Get ready for the Crafty Cruise Getaway 2025. Sailing from Galveston, Texas to the beautiful shores of Costa Maya and Cozumel, this is a crafting adventure you won't want to miss. This year, we're thrilled to welcome a very special guest host, Sammy Veltry from Unicorn Dust Designs. Sammy will be teaching an exclusive crafting workshop that you're sure to enjoy whether you're a seasoned crafter or just starting out. Known for her amazing DIY creations and vibrant personality, Sammy's class will be a memorable creative experience. Join us for an unforgettable journey filled with creativity, relaxation, and amazing memories. We can't wait to see you on board in 2025. Thank you so much for watching today. If you saw something you liked, we hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and if you have any suggestions. We just love hearing from y'all and it really does help our channel grow. We are also over on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest and would love it if you would click the link below and join us over there as well. If you enjoyed this episode, check out these videos for even more DIY inspiration. Bye y'all!